From innumerable complexities we must grow to simplicity, we must become simple in our inward life and in our outward needs. Order cannot possibly be brought about through conformity to a pattern, under any circumstances. But if one observes, one will see that the body has its own intelligence, it requires a great deal of intelligence to observe the intelligence of the body. Peace is not something petty, created by the mind, it is enormously great, infinitely extensive, and it can be understood only when the heart is full. Freedom and love go together. Love is not a reaction. To love is not to ask anything in return, not even to feel that you are giving something, and it is only such love that can know freedom. The ending is the beginning, and the beginning is the first step, and the first step is the only step. All outward forms of change brought about by wars, revolutions, reformations, laws and ideologies have failed completely to change the basic nature of man and therefore of society. When we suffer we have made it into a personal affair. We shut out all the suffering of mankind. The only freedom is the freedom from the known. But if you have no relationship with the living things on this earth, you may lose whatever relationship you have with humanity. Fear is the destructive energy in man. It withers the mind, it distorts thought, it leads to all kinds of extraordinarily clever and subtle theories, absurd superstitions, dogmas, and beliefs. Happy is the man who is nothing. Truth is a pathless land. To understand yourself is the beginning of wisdom. You must look most intimately and discover for yourself, then it is your own, not somebody else's, not something that you have been told, because there is no teacher and no follower. Life is a movement, a constant movement in relationship, and thought, trying to capture that movement in terms of the past, as memory, is afraid of life. If you would listen, sir, in the sense of being aware of your conflicts and contradictions without forcing them into any particular pattern of thought, perhaps they might altogether cease. The description is not the described, I can describe the mountain, but the description is not the mountain, and if you are caught up in the description, as most people are, then you will never see the mountain. It is only in alert silence that truth can be. The end is the beginning of all things, suppressed and hidden, awaiting to be released through the rhythm of pain and pleasure. Happiness comes when you are doing something because you really love to do it, and not because it gives you riches or makes you a prominent person. An idealist is a hypocrite, because he is always trying to become what he is not, instead of being and understanding what he is. Living in the present is the instant perception of beauty and the great delight in it without seeking pleasure from it. Thought is the origin of fear. Teaching is not the mere imparting of knowledge but the cultivation of an inquiring mind. Only when the brain has cleansed itself of its conditioning, greed, envy, ambition, then only it can comprehend that which is complete. Love is this completeness. In oneself lies the whole world and if you know how to look and learn, the door is there and the key is in your hand. Nobody on earth can give you either the key or the door to open, except yourself. What has validity is your living, not what happens tomorrow. Self-knowledge is the beginning of wisdom, which is the ending of fear. 
one can describe reality. You must experience it, see it, feel the whole atmosphere of it. Man who lives never asks, what is living, and he has no theories about living. It is only the half-alive who talk about the purpose of life. Peace can come only when there is love. People are afraid to stand alone, they are afraid to think things out for themselves, afraid to feel deeply, to explore and discover the whole meaning of life. To have intelligence there must be freedom, and you cannot be free if you are constantly being urged to become like some hero, for then the hero is important and not you. Love is love, not to be defined or described by the mind as exclusive or inclusive. Love is its own eternity, it is the real, the supreme, the immeasurable. Freedom from the known is death, and then you are living. The observer is the observed. The question is not how to get rid of fear, but how to awaken the intelligence with which to face and to understand and go beyond fear. None of the agonies of suppression, nor the brutal discipline of conforming to a pattern has led to truth. To come upon truth the mind must be completely free, without a spot of distortion. The important thing is first to find out what you are afraid of, to understand it and not run away from it. Understand the whole operation of one's own mind requires a great deal of insight, a great deal of inquiry without condemnation. So, while you are young you must begin to find out what is this strange thing called happiness. That is an essential part of education. Love is something totally new every day, but pleasure is not, pleasure has continuity. Love is always new, and therefore it is its own eternity. When the individual is in conflict within himself he must inevitably create conflict without, and only he can bring about peace within himself and so in the world, for he is the world. Authority in its very nature prevents the full awareness of oneself and therefore ultimately destroys freedom. In freedom alone can there be creativeness. We are so sluggish in our mentality that we think the world's problems are not our business, that they have to be resolved by the United Nations or by substituting new leaders for the old. The ambitious man has never found his true vocation. This is of the heart, not of the mind. To know peace you have to find out what beauty is. To compare is the very nature of a mind that is not awake to discover what is true. So as long as the mind is comparing, there is no love, and the mind is always judging, comparing, weighing, looking to find out where the weakness is. So where there is comparison, there is no love. If I follow a particular method of knowing myself, then I shall have the result which that system necessitates, but the result will obviously not be the understanding of myself.